um, as you may know, this this video doesn't have semi blind in the title, and there's a very good reason for that. Uh, as you may have noticed in the previous episode, I botched the editing by, well, not having the last half of that video in during the rendering. So that sucks. So now I'm just gonna play through that again. And it's not gonna be blind, but I'm gonna still go through it. So yeah, that's gonna be this video. And that also is that uh, this video will end just before the trial. So you know, if you already know all of this, you may may want to skip this. Maybe. I don't think I'm gonna have any interesting reactions, but maybe I will. Who knows? Alrighty. See you. Alrighty. Let's continue. <laughs> I don't remember how many of these lines I, how much I investigated this room, so I'm just gonna investigate it completely now. So, there's some kind of time mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on its tire. Could that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. <coughs> it, it would make more sense for Hippomir's body to have been moved, but yeah. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that should definitely have been possible. Equipment room bloodstain. But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office in on the first floor. Even with a dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. Huh? This tarp. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and just recently too. Well, we did know where that was. That was under Taka. I, I think under Taka. Justice Hammer 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. Well, let's stop chill then. I'm sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. Okay. And then... We'll go to the nurse's office. Which I have actually just teleported immediately right next to. There. Just the summer 3, the one that was used to kill Hifumi. Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. <coughs> hmm. Just a normal trash can. Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief, but it, it's a glasses cleaning cloth. It's got some kind of cartoon character on it, uh, but it's also covered in blood. Oh. Did you find something? Yeah, that was some cleaning. Some that was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? Cleaning cloth, and it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe up some blood. Yeah, that's that was probably used to cl uh, clean Hifumi's glasses. But who would need to do something like that? <sighs> I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either. But I think it might be important. Cleaning cloth. What are you investigating, Celeste? <laughs> I'm not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around, seeing if Hiro might be hiding somewhere. Hmm. What about you? You know, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. Let's see... How Hifumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, he was supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone. Mm. It, we could, have not, could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time. Indeed. It would seem so. To carry off someone as, bi someone as big as Hifumi in a, only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of it anything less than impossible. 
Oh, I for some reason read that I'm in the last voice. Goodness gracious. Anything else here? Yeah, maybe. A refrigerator. Nothing. Okay. Now I do know where he hmm. a hero actually is. So um so this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um You should go to Hero's room. No, and let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? <laughs> you remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> <laughs> Things grew, uh, grow even more exciting. What are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hero's message. So what's waiting for us in Hero's room? Oh, I do wonder. <laughs> so yes, I do know. <laughs> it's in the end of the hallway, if I remember. Look at that. The door is unlocked. I guess I can go inside. Pekka did say to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. <clears throat> this is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where do you even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something, and something's made out of... It looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster? Is this Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's rule. But wait, these blueprints... Something about them bothers me. Hmm. Robo Justice blueprints. And that's that. Ah. Makoto, big news, big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! Uh, what? I is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Just a second! Robo Justice showed up too! Robo Justice? Hmm. It's Hero wearing the costume! Okay! Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool and on the second floor. Hmm? Wait a minute! Why would Hero have two of those costumes? Well, that's odd. And so it's clear trap. To think Kyoka and Hiro would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. Kyoko and... I mean... Phew, man, I've had the worst day. Hiro? Um, Hiro? Huh? Okay, <laughs> yeah, Makoto. duh, who else would I be? That's a good question. Uh, what? Why do I look like this? What? Did someone come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it Illuminati? Huh? Did Illuminati come along and remodel me in my sleep? Right. I found Hiro. He was jumped into the pool room locker. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. Don't be mean! Still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it, like, I don't know, cursed my face or something. What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden, without a trace. Wow. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. Yeah. Actually, could it be that Kyoko actually has the laptop and has been hiding it. 
I doubt that's the case, but that's possible. I can't never mind. It's nothing. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people? Well, she might be spying for it. People think she might be spying for the mastermind. And? First of all, Hiro, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Uh, well, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened. Then I woke up, and then I was here. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. Huh? Uh, well, um, I don't know what's here. up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. Uh, a little help? <laughs> Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? You got it all wrong! I didn't make the stupid freaking thing! It would seem... There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. I mean, that's, that's all just making it so obvious that Hiro isn't the actual culprit here. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hiro out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> Phew, free at last. Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hiro? So then... More to the point, nobody but Hiro would be able to wear that costume. Uh, um... Wait, wh what? Hold on a sec. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. Is that okay? In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. That's true. I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be? Then it's obvious. The one who put this costume on went around attacking everyone. That's terrible. Was Hiro. <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just the worst. Good idea. We wouldn't want him killing anyone else. What? what? Tie me up. Hold on, guys. I think that's going a little too far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, attacking blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided you killed them. Please. What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear this costume. Who else could possibly be the costume attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine, if you're gonna be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a bit. A bit. I suppose that's supposed to say a bit. Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Huh. See, See look. look. See how loose it is? I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me! And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. Hmm? Uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. Hmm. I just got that is rather the moment. That is rather odd. It seems that Hiro actually probably did design that. Hmm. Well, either way. Now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hiro could have fit into this dumb costume. In a half, Hina took the suit back off again. Oh. Well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh, um... No, no, see, it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then... <laughs> Makoto, go ahead. Okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces of the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. Just a second! See, I told you it was impossible. <laughs> you are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Piro's body exactly. But... Then there's another costume. They must have one that looks the same, but, but fits them. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Well, the costume in, on his floor, so... In his hut room, so, you know. Evidence? You claim there is another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. What, what the heck? Just the worst. Who cares? Hero's the only one without an alibi doing this whole thing anyway. That's terrible! Which is how we know it was him. 
I mean, is this that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Did someone like tell me? Robo Justice costume. Oh. I certainly did not expect Hiro and Kyoko to turn up at the same time. Mm. But where has Kyoko been hiding the all this time? I have no idea. Then perhaps yeah, she really is working for the mastermind. What else would explain her questionable behavior? But <laughs> you are quite protective of her, yes? That's because she helped me out so much up until now. <laughs> if I were the mastermind, that is exactly what I would do to earn your trust. She looks like she's lost in thought. I don't think she's in the mood to talk, I'd better leave her alone. What the heck? Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that it's almost been killed, right? In Bakoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed. Taka and Hifumi. What? 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 Two people? Just the worst. Why are you freaking out? You did it! Please. I did not! Huh? Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... How about that? That's it! I know who did it! So then... You may as well tell us, may as well, as well tell us then. Hmm. Takahashi and Hifumi were fighting our alter ego, right? I'm at least 30% right! Which means alter ego and or Chihiro must have done it. Correct. I see, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Please! Well, unfortunate? What the heck? Stop trying to trick us, just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um... I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, so oh, I know, that note! No. Uh, um... Last night someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the recreation room at 1am. Uh... The last thing I remember is going to the rec room, then for some reason I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. Not a chance. So... No, hold on, he could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? Oh, really? Uh. I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape? Someone wrote all that to trick me. Uh. Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Uh. Well, after being trapped here so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still got shake, right? Yeah. They're great on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. Uh, I still don't buy it. Don't be me. Well, you should buy it. Just a second. Okay, then show us that note. Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my um pocket. No way. Looks like I lost it. Uh, yeah, sure. Please. please, you gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with that, with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh -huh. What the heck for serious? Hero's account has been added to truth notes. Now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. What the heck? Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, Hero. Uh -huh. No, it's like I said. Just the worst. Was it really to get the money Mono Kuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. It must be totally broken, that's why. Please. Wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help me. What are you saying? Just be thankful we haven't found and gagged you yet. Hm. If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? What? What? Oh, you're right, I need to look for the suit, second suit and that note. Feet don't fail me now! Well, I guess I'd better get back on to guard duty. I was gonna ask Toko, uh, Genocide Jack to switch with me. Hmm. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. One by one, everyone peeled away. Makoto. Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? If you, I want you to help me with the investigation. It would seem... It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Um, apologies for a second. Let's continue, shall we? Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time. 
You will tell me why you disappeared. Why is that? No. The reject me so simply. Anyway. Anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Now then, shall we? Hey. So Makoto, first I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway. Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Yeah, you're right. Okay then, show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. Then I guess we should head that way for now. Yeah. Um, I suppose I could just teleport, so... Actually, there was a closer location to teleport to. But this is now looking quite... I mean, Hero is clearly not there. Most obviously, he's not the perpetrator here. That would be far too simple, so... I wonder who it was. Probably that guy that person who had, was talking to Monokuma at that cutscene. Hifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid. But only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding the bodies. I knew it. The Monokuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth. She was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. I thought I was killed by blood to the head. Ah. I see. Makoto, I found something. You did? Hey. You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore on his left hand? You did? <sighs> Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? Well, as a matter of fact, <clears throat> no, that, that's that's not it. Anyway, you said he had a watch. So then, take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands are moving, right? It most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past six o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken sometime just after 6. That's right. But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Hey, you all look like... Yeah, this is something we have already seen. In other words... So if it were at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken six, at 6 p.m. Meaning it must have happened at 6 this morning. Broken rich, rich watch. However... And that's not all, look at Taka's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. You're right, there's something white in there. Makoto. Can you try and pry it out? Me? Because... Rigor mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Okay. Ah, so you're hiding your strength and you're actually super strong. Haha, <laughs> I know it. Maybe. Uh, this is just... Oh, uh, whoops. <sighs> oh right, you're supposed to... How, how do you get... Um, Daga's hand was gripping the object. After some effort I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A piece of paper? Hey. Alright, this is how you get back to the transcript. As much as I didn't want to, I grabbed Daga's cold hand. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause me caused my heart to stop beating. After some effort I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A piece of paper? Um, was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Kyoko then turned to Hifumi's body. So then. Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he's left us a few clues of his own. 
Ki atakas. Scrap of paper. I'm interested here about Kyoko's investigation results. Oh, whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Indeed. So did you find anything? I did, more than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A wad of paper. That's right. He finally had it hidden on him. Hidden? Indeed. He'd stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he'd hidden it on purpose, you see. In his pants? Wait, so you... Why is that? It was just his pants, not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. Hey. Anyway, let's take a look at that pa paper. Go ahead, Makoto, open it up. When I think of how it was stuffed down his pants, it's like... It better be important, Hoifumi, or I'll never forgive you for this. A note? That is exactly the note that uh, um, Hiro had, so that's actually a pretty good point in his favor. I found a hole, maybe we can use... Th okay, we already know, that's so... exactly what he, what he, uh, Hiro had. That sounds very familiar. That's it, it's the same thing Hiro said. Then he was telling us the truth. However... Although it's not a, exactly the same, is it? Uh, um... What is different in here? Oh! Yeah, it is different. The time is different. Hiro told us that his notes had to meet it. So maybe a bunch of people got actually that note. Like Hiro and Taka and Hifumi all got that kind of note. Hiro told us that his notes had to meet at 1 a.m. But the note they were wrote to Hifumi asked him to meet at 1 uh, 6 a.m. Is that right? Hold on, just because Hifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. So, so it was possibly meant meant for Taka. I think there's likely some meaning there. Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. There's some meaning to it to a part of it being ripped off. Uh, could you maybe explain it a little more? Think carefully. Hey. Why would he have been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly? I have no idea. So then. What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Hey. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their e-books on, handbooks on them. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to killings in the first place. So saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Is that right? If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. I wonder if they actually were then used. That's entirely possible that they were they are going to be important i wonder if they are because that's otherwise a pretty bad red herring but well not necessarily a bad red herring but you know there may come a rogue point however where the hand where a handbook may play a role a handbook may play a role i don't think i understand but if kyoko thinks it's important i'd better keep it in mind e handbook And it's time for yeah. Are you excited? Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin. Like the bright burst of fireworks, like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. And so, with no further ado, everyone, please meet at the usual spot. Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. It would seem... It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to that proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Well, we'd better get going. Okay. And this is where we also stop for the this episode. That's the setup for this class trial. And I must say I'm really hyped up for this because it would obviously seem that Hiro would be the suspect here, but 
it's very obvious that Hero also isn't the subject because that would be far too obvious and the game certainly wouldn't go for <laughs> this game certainly wouldn't go for something so obvious. Now I wonder what exactly that means that they get oh, sorry about that. That I I wonder what that actually means that they will go for, but all will come clear in due time. So it's really got quite pretty good setup in my opinion, and it's all rather exciting and interesting, so yeah. I wonder. That's all I have to say for now. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you on the future. Great day, stay and stay awesome. Gun move out. Thank you very much for watching.